Okay, so here's another little uh, tech tip for, for you guys. I'm here with Bruce Schwab, Ocean Planet Energy, and um, we're talking about energy consumption because this is a big deal in today's world for batteries, alternators, and all the things we do at school for students to set up systems that work. And Denny, my good friend who built this boat, had a diesel stove and no propane. He was terribly afraid of it, and so I've always used electrical gadgets for a long, long time. And Bruce's website's got a really good calculator for most of your loads. Refrigeration, freezers, things like this. You can put it in, right, Bruce? How many hours you're going to use it, and it calculates. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's just an Excel spreadsheet built in with, some, with the, uh, the automatic uh, voltage calculators and sure. things and then like that in there. We could be like, oh, I need 700 amp hours of batteries, or kilowatts, you know, is, is a good way to go these days. So, yeah, yeah, because uh, more of the boats we do nowadays are 24 volt or even 48 volt. So, if you start talking amp hours and one person's talking the amp hours and one's talking kilowatt hours, 12 volt, and one's talking you know, 24 volt, well, yeah, they're speaking exactly 100% different numbers. Right. So, 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 for it's this, to convert sometimes. it's e easier to convert, and so. Anyways, go to Ocean Planet Energy website. It'll be in the video show notes. Um, Nigel Calder on his boat how-to also has an energy calculator. But this is about things that cycle on and off. Because when you plug in a lot of these gadgetries that we run, like an Instapot, it runs, a, you know, 1,300 watts for a while. But then it shuts off and it cycles. And so things that cycle, the online calculators don't work very well. Unless you know what the average, you know, yeah. consumption is, and you, it's you have to do a lot of guessing. So what Mike has done is to, instead of you figuring out the load and uh, a guess at the average load and a guess at the time, he's run some of these gadgets here to work out some amp hour numbers in in, in twelve volts. In twelve volts. So this is just yeah, a twelve volt boat. It's fifty years old. Unfortunately, that's all we had back then. I wish it was twenty four or forty eight. Anytime you have a big boat, you should have a higher voltage platform. But that's what we're stuck with. And so um, I did some seminars and people were like, I can't believe you, you know, use this stuff. So like we like our Instapot. Um, and it's even better for running the engine. If, we, if we're motoring into a bay and we're going to anchor, we'll have this ready to go. And then it doesn't use anything out of the batteries. Because you're running the alternator. At the same we're running the alternator. But when I'm sitting at anchor, if I want broccoli beef or something, we just plug this thing in. And so it cycles on and off. And, um, and at the end of the day, it only uses 19 amp hours. I'm um, about 20 amp hours for dinner, hot it dinner. It doesn't run that long. No. Well, it actually takes, some of the meals will take 30 minutes or whatever, but it's that cycling on and off. And so that's where we put the calculation together. Because if you did, load is low. the average load is way low compared to its instant usage. What size inverter do you have to cover your <clears throat> uh, peak loads? Peak loads is, a, uh, I have a 3 kilowatt Victron. And that covers whatever you need? Yeah, we can do two... Of these gadgets at a time, so and your water heater, and well, not the water heater. Okay. Well, we'd have to balance that out okay. because most of these, anything you know that plugs into an outlet is limited to fifteen hundred watts or less. Right. So I can do any two of those typically. Gotcha. Meaning we could, you know, and a lot of times, um, you know, I might be cooking dinner and, and making ice, or I could be running a coffee pot and making bread. So three kilowatts has. So you're able to manage with three kilowatts cover most yeah. of your AC loads. Yeah, that's good. You know, because those are very popular size inverter yes. chargers. Is three kilowatts. Absolutely. So, so that was the number twenty. And if you go to the large, you know, maybe you have a family or you know you're trying to feed four or six people and you use the large instant pots, that goes up to thirty-five amp hours. So it makes quite a bit of difference in the size. And so, um, but on most boats for us, the smaller size was, is perfect. So I see your bread maker over here. You've got, yeah. uh, what's that say, 29 amp hours was to make a loaf of bread? Yeah, so we don't always bad. light off this big diesel stove when it's 80 degrees outside. You could imagine you don't want this huge 400 degree chunk of iron that's going to be heated all day. So we just use the bread maker. Yeah. So do you find you actually make bread in the stove in the winter and then use this in yes, the summer? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so cold rainy days, definitely going to use the, the oven. but. Right. In the summertime, right now, we're doing this in the summertime, August, pff, September, we're using the bread machine. And so, um, this is another thing that I like. Um, installation is easy. It's a countertop ice machine. So, a lot of times when we get to a bay and we put the anchor out, my wife and I like to have a gin and tonic. And I like to have ice cubes in it. And so, although I have a, a freezer on board, I don't always have, you know, I, don't, I can't make ice in it. So, I just use this thing and you put in a 
a quart of water, you turn it on, and in an hour, it makes a quart or so of ice. Mm. Okay. 10 amp hours. Oh, that's not ten. bad. Yeah, I'm giving up 10 of my supply to have ice cubes in my drink, for sure. It's not a bad deal. That's a bargain. It's not a bad deal. Um, the electric coffee pot, this perk style, um, I haven't done a drip, I'm assuming it's pretty similar. Make a pot of coffee, it's 11 amp hours. You know, so I can tally up in any day, I'm going to need 60 or 70 amp hours, maybe, for incidentals and living, if I'm just staying on the hook that day. And you have, do you have a DC fridge as well? DC fridge and freezer both. How much do those have? Um, the refrigerator runs about, it's super efficient, massive insulation. The refrigerator um, is the best one that Woody from Ice Boat Marines ever seen. It uses about 30 amp hours, wow. 30 or 40 a day. Super efficient. Yeah, even in the summer hot weather. So the, wow. the freezer uses about 80 amp hours. Oh, and of course, it's all at 12 volts. So you take energy you save there and you make ice with it. That's, That's right. Cool. Yeah. And then, of course, as you know, you're in the energy business. I, I just coupled it to a 150 amp alternator. And we're in the Northwest. We end up motoring a lot because the winds aren't good. And so I just put back That's in free in power, basically. Yeah. You I mean, never need to run a generator. If you're going to motor, no generator you're, motor, you're motoring a you're lot. You're motoring a lot. So you've so got plenty of power. Put it in the bank. And so. How but, long can you go, if you're managing your loads, because you know how to do that, um, when you're anchored mm -hmm. and you're motoring, let's say, in, in a day or two, and running your regular summer loads, ice, a little fridge, bit of water freezer, maker, fridge, everything. make the, some bread. How long do you think you can go before you need to motor again and get a charge? Um, I'm targeting 200 to 250 amp hours a day. And Everything. What size, what size is your battery bank? Um, around 1,000. Oh, so you could go two days. Yeah. Oh, easy. Three days. And then, you know, of course, you got 150 amps, though. i got to motor more than two hours. You know, I need mm -hmm. to target two hours of motoring to keep the boat happy. So gotcha. if I, mm -hmm. we, we, we can get you up. a bigger alternator. I know, I've seen some of those that you have. Yeah. Spying that uh, American Power System one. Yeah, we, can, like fit, we can fit in the stock position, we can fit a 300 amp continuous output. See, I could double my output yeah. when I'm motoring. See? Yeah. Well, but it sounds idea. like you're, you're covering it. Here. We're covering it. So we wanted that to be out there uh, just so people know. And you can target and know what your electrical loads are. And, you know, balance electrical system. Don't be afraid to run electrical gadgets. That's the, the wonderful thing about the time we live in. We now have all this technology that just makes this possible where back in the 70s and 80s when you were cruising, you didn't think at all probably put any of these things on. Fuel, you, and everything was fuel of one sort or another. Yeah. Sorry. But here you've, you just use diesel. Just, yep. And if you use it when you're motoring, you, you get to get more use, yep. use out of it. So on a load calculator, anything that's a known load and you have a rough idea of the hours of, you just enter that data. It's just a spreadsheet. Yeah, spreadsheet. So you coupled with a spreadsheet, you use that um, on their website. You know, you could say in the Northwest, the diesel furnace is going to pull 25 amps and it's going to run 50% of the time. Boom, put it in your calculator. Um, for you guys, you get to the East Coast, air conditioning becomes a big thing, Bahamas. But we can calculate that all. This was just the, the things that cycle that aren't constant. And um, just to, it's been a conversation piece in a lot of my lectures with different boat owners and cruisers. And so I finally did the research and put numbers to it and put it out there for all of our viewers. So figure out what you can, turn stuff on, check the loads. But for anything you can't figure out because it's intermittent load, email Mike and he'll tell you what he calculated. That's right. Or what he actually measured. Measured. It's all there. It's what we do at Green Tech. So. Great. Where's, right. the, where's the bread? It's, it's coming. We'll turn it out okay. here soon. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for being on the show, Bruce. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. It's always good to get on the Black Pearl. Yeah.